I have this figure here, you could call it a rectangular prism, and I want to measure its volume. And I'm defining my, my unit cube as being a one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter cube. It has one centimeter width, one centimeter depth, one centimeter height. And I will call this, this is equal to one cubic cubic centimeter. So I want to measure this volume in terms of cubic centimeters. We've already seen that we can do that by saying, hey, how many of these cubic centimeters can fit into this figure without them overlapping in any way? So if we had this you know, in our hands, we could kind of try to go around it and try to count it. But it's hard to see here because there's some cubes that we can't see behind the ones that we are seeing. So I'm going to try different tactics at it. So first, let's just think about what we can observe. So we see that this one, if we measure its different dimensions, its width, it's two of the unit length wide. So it's two centimeters wide. It's four of our unit length. We're defining our unit length as a centimeter. It's four of our unit length high. So this, this dimension right over here is four centimeters. And it is three of our unit length deep. So this dimension right over here is three centimeters. So I want to explore if we can somehow use these numbers to figure out how many of these cubic centimeters would fit into this figure. And the first way I'm going to think about it is by looking at slices. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a slice, I'm going to take this slice right over here of our original figure. And let's think about how we can how how using these numbers we can figure out how many unit cubes were in that slice. Well, this is two centimeters wide, and it is four centimeters high. It is four centimeters high. And you might be saying, hey, Sal, you know, I could just count these things. I could get eight, eight, eight squares here. But what if there was a ton there? It would be a lot harder. And you might realize, well, I could just multiply the width times the height. That would give me the area of this surface right over here. And it's only one deep, so that also will give me the number of cubes. So let's do that. Let's find the area here. Well, that's going to be 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters. 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters. That gives us the area of this. And then. If we want to find out the number of cubes, well, that's also going to be equivalent to the number of cubes. So we have 8 square centimeters is this area, and the number of cubes is 8. And if we want the number of cubes in the whole thing, we just have to multiply by the number of slices. And we see that we need 1, 2, 3 slices. This is 3 centimeters deep. So we're going to multiply that times 3. So we took the area of one surface. We took the area of this surface right over here. And then we multiply it by the depth. That essentially gives us the number of cubes, because the area of this surface gives us the number of cubes in a, one, in, a, in a slice that is one cube deep. And then we would have to have three slices like that. So we would have to have, this is one slice. We would have to have another slice, another slice, and then another slice in order to construct the original figure. So two centimeters times four centimeters times three centimeters would give us our volume. Let's see if that works out. Two times four is. 8 times 3 is 24. 24, let me do that in that pink color. 24 centimeters cubed. Or I could say cubic centimeters. So that's one way to measure the volume. Now, there's multiple surfaces here. I happen to pick this surface, but I could have picked another one. I could have picked this surface right over here and done the exact same thing. So let's pick this surface and do the exact same thing. This surface is 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Let me do that in that blue color. Color changing is always difficult. By 4 centimeters. So its area is going to be 12 square centimeters is the area of this surface. And 12 is also the number of cubes that we have in that slice. And so how many slices do we need like this in order to construct the original figure? Well, we need, it's 2 centimeters deep. This is only 1 centimeter deep, so we need 2 of them. We need two of them to construct the original figure. So we can essentially find the area of that first surface, which was 3 times 4, 3 times 4, and then multiply that times, times the width, times how, how, how many of those slices you need, so times 2. And once again, this is going to be 3 times 4 is 12, times 2 is 24. I didn't write the units this first time. But that's going to give us the count of how many cubic centimeters we have, how many unit cubes we can fit. So once again, this is 24 cubic centimeters. 
And you can imagine you could do the same thing, not with this surface, not with this surface, but with the top surface. The top surface is three centimeters deep, three centimeters deep, and two centimeters wide, two centimeters wide. So you could view its area, or its area is going to be three centimeters times two centimeters. So that area is, let me do the same colors, three centimeters times two centimeters, two centimeters, which is six square centimeters. And that also tells you that there's going to be six cubes in this one cube deep slice. But how many of these slices do you need? Well, you have this whole thing is four centimeters tall, and this thing is only one centimeter, so you're going to need four of them. So that's two, two, three, three, try and draw it as neatly as I can, three, and four. You're going to need four of these. So to figure out the whole volume, you're going to have to take that and multiply that times four centimeters, which once again, three times two is six square centimeters, times four centimeters is 24. 24 cubic centimeters. So any, it doesn't matter what order you multiply these in. You could view this, take the one area of one side, then multiply it times the, the depth. Or you could take the, the surface area of another height and multiply it times the, the, the height or the width or the depth. And these are all the scenarios. But what it shows is it doesn't matter what, what, what order we multiply these three dimensions in. You could view it, you could take the two times the four first and then multiply by the three, or you could take the three times the four first and then multiply by the two, and, or you could take the two times the three first and then multiply by the four. When you're multiplying, it doesn't matter what order you're doing these in. And so if you find, if you have a rectangular prism like this and you know it's three dimensions, you know it's two centimeters wide, three centimeters deep, and four centimeters tall, you can say, hey, the volume of this thing, the number of unit cubes, the number of cubic centimeters it can fit is going to be two centimeters, two centimeters times four centimeters, times four centimeters, times three centimeters, which we've seen three times already is 24 cubic centimeters.